From historic hotels whose halls are wandered by the dead after dark, to weathered mining towns where it's said the spirits of residents long since past never truly moved on from their rightful homes. Are you ready to brave our list of picks for some of the most haunted places in Idaho? Number 5. Lake Coeur d'Alene Lake Coeur d'Alene, or officially Coeur d'Alene Lake, which is located on the Idaho Panhandle with the city of Coeur d'Alene placed at its northern end, is a massive aquatic expanse stretching 25 miles in length and anywhere from 1 to 3 miles in width that provides over 109 miles of shoreline and that derives its name from the Coeur d'Alene people. Historically, Lake Coeur d'Alene, which was carved through continued flooding resulting from a glacial period, was discovered by explorer David Thompson in 1807, marking him as the first European recorded to have laid eyes on its wakes. Through the 1870s, a fort was constructed on the lake shores. Over the years, a community would blossom around it, and by 1887, the town of Coeur d'Alene was officially founded, with timber and mining acting as its primary economic drivers, industries which are still very much alive in North Idaho today. In 1986, the Coeur d'Alene Resort was established, opening the city's bounds to the international travel scene and resulting in an influx of annual tourism. Lake Coeur d'Alene remains accessible and popular into the present, offering a near-infinite range of leisure and recreational options for locals and tourists alike. Over the lengthy span of its utilization, Coeur d'Alene Lake has been surrounded in a wealth of ghost stories and local legends, with those frequenting its bounds reporting extreme cold spots in the heat of summer, orbs and spirit lights sighted zipping above the water's surface, and inexplicable or otherworldly sounds heard on the winds. Some stories tell of a mysterious fish woman who resides somewhere near a big pointed rock, while others of a massive horned monster that dwells in the lake's depths that's been known to actually lift boats from the water. Number 4. The Idana Hotel the Idana Hotel, which is located off the corner of 10th and Main Streets in Boise, Idaho, is a historic structure that has operated as one of the city's most prestigious lodgings for decades, and that's even recognized for its hosting of the first elevator in the whole of the state. Historically, this hotel would open its doors in 1901 as the tallest building in Idaho, and boasting an assortment of then-modern amenities that drew in the wealthier travelers and politicians, whose ranks actually included the likes of Theodore Roosevelt and William Taft. The hotel would survive the Great Depression, though later through the 1960s business would decline, and subsequently through the 70s the property was converted into apartment space. The Idana remains in use as apartment space to this day, offering Victorian-style accommodations, the iconic Bombay Grill and Guru Donuts on its first floor, and the legendary 10th Street Station Bar in its basement. For years now, the Idana has been shrouded in a range of chilling ghost stories and reports of encounters with the inexplicable, with staff and guests alike telling of lights that flick from on to off by themselves, of moaning sounds heard from within closets, and of encounters with a strange gray mist that floats around with seeming sentience. Several overnighters have described having their sheets ripped from them or even being dragged from bed in the middle of the night. In the Bombay Grill's kitchen, pots and pans fly from shelves spontaneously, while sharp silverware has been flung dangerously close to employees. And on the third and fourth floors, activity is said to get so intense at times that several have had to leave the area entirely. Lastly, the ghost of a bellman who was gunned down on sight has a habit of moving the elevator around and has been sighted peering around corners. While the manifestation of a woman who was murdered and buried in the hotel's basement has been known to pop up around the 10th Street Station bar, as well as on other lower levels. Number 3. The Bear River Massacre Site the Bear River Massacre Site, which is located off of US Highway 91 out of Preston, Idaho, is a historic expanse preserving the site of the Bear River Massacre, during which a village of Shoshone Native Americans were attacked by California volunteers in 1863. Historically, land holding the site would initially act as a traditional hunting grounds under the Northwestern Shoshone who, alongside fishing and hunting the region, would also make use of its various additional resources and plentiful grass seed. Through the 1840s, the establishment of the California and Oregon trails would result in the meeting of the Shoshone people with white colonists, and by the 1850s, European Americans had established their first permanent settlements and farms through the area. Tragically, in the early morning hours of January 29th in 1863, a sleepy village of Shoshone were attacked by a troop of California volunteers out of Fort Douglas, resulting in the deaths of somewhere between 250 and 500 of their people. 
In March of 2008, a portion of this massacre site was acquired under the Northwestern Band of the Shoshone Nation. The same year, a picnic site, rest area, and historic monument were developed just east of the highway, on a hilltop overlooking the expanse. And in 2018, the tribe would announce their purchase of an additional 600 acres or so, as well as their plans to create an interpretive center and memorial. The Bear River Massacre site remains open into the present, offering a wealth of educational materials as well as a glimpse at the grounds on which so many died so long ago. Not surprisingly, the whole of the massacre site is rumored to harbor the restless spirits of those killed in the slaughter, and those braving its bounds have reported screaming and the sounds of battle heard on the winds, the smells of fire smoke when no sources are present, and the constant feelings of being watched or of being followed by a presence or presences unseen. Chillingly, through the winter time, a handful of reports detail phantom baby cries, and the finding of footprint trails through fresh snow that begin out of the blue and end in wide open spaces just as inexplicably. Number 2. Pierce Pierce, Idaho, which is located off of Idaho Highway 11 in Clearwater County, is a historic mining town significant for acting as site to the first major gold discovery in the Idaho Territory. Historically, through the fall of 1860, one Captain Elias Davison Pierce would discover a wealth of gold in Canal Gulch off Orofino Creek on the Clearwater River. And by the following year, in 1861, the town of Pierce was formed from around 10,000 miners who'd migrated to the area from the time of the strike and onward. By the 1890s, Pierce's timber industry had blossomed, helping to propel it into the 20th century while preventing its abandonment, a fate suffered by countless neighboring communities and rivaling mining towns. Impressively, Pierce remains an active town into the present, boasting a humble populace of 525 and an economy namely fueled off of tourism and timber. Each August, Pierce offers its 1860 Days event, a festival which includes gold panning, a Dutch oven cook-off, the Legends of the Old West shooting performances, and both longest and best-groomed beard competitions. Rather classically, local legends paint Pierce as haunted by the spirits of its past residents since deceased, and today, both locals and visitors tell of inexplicable happenings experienced about, such as disembodied footsteps and voices heard around the Timber Inn, and poltergeist activity and odd wafts of smoke spied at the flame bar. Sadly, the Clearwater Hotel, which is no longer standing, was purported to hold some of the town site's most intense activity. However, many now question whether or not this activity has been inherited by the land itself, as rampant supernatural phenomena have since been witnessed across its former grounds. One more notable location within Pierce's bounds is, without question, the Cedar Inn, which dates back to 1927, when it was constructed to accommodate railroad workers. Those who have braved a night at the Cedar have told of phantom banging and scratching heard from within walls, of disembodied voices that emanate from empty spaces, and of extreme cold spots, activity which has become so intense it's caused several to switch rooms in the middle of the night or leave the inn entirely. Number 1. The Old Idaho State Penitentiary the Old Idaho State Pen, which is located off of Old Penitentiary Road out of Boise, Idaho, is a historic lockup turned educational venue that acts as one of only four territorial prisons open to the public today. Historically, the Old Pen was first completed in 1872, after which it would receive its initial 11 inmates from the Boise County Jail. While the pen started as nothing more than a single cell house, over the years it would grow into a complex with multiple structures, encircled by a 17 foot tall locally sourced sandstone wall, which was quarried and later constructed by resident inmates themselves. In 1952, 1971, and again in 1973, serious riots would break out on site, most over the lack of inmate care and horrible living conditions. And on December 3rd of 1973, the pen would close its doors for good, with its last inmates transferred to more comfortable accommodations. Shortly following its closure, the old Idaho State Penitentiary would be added to the National Register of Historic Places, after which it was opened up to the public as an educational venue. The Penn's museum remains open into the present, offering a slew of events, educational materials, and options in both guided and self-guided tours. 
Through its century and a year of operation, the old Idaho State Pen would see over 13,000 inmates, with a maximum of up to 600 at any one time, and some of the most famous of which that included Harry Orchard, who assassinated Idaho Governor Frank Steinberg in 1905, Lyda Southard, one of the country's first documented female serial killers, and the notorious Raymond Allen Snowden, who was dubbed Idaho's Jack the Ripper and who, in 1956, was tried, sentenced, and hanged for murder right on site. In total, 129 death records from the pen's working years have been uncovered, which include 10 executions and countless murders, suicides, cases of illnesses and epidemics, deaths during escape attempts, and more. And not surprisingly, local legends tell the lockup and its grounds are plagued by an unknown number of tortured spirits resulting, with both visitors and staff reporting extreme cold spots felt on hot days, banging, creaking, and scratching sounds heard from empty cells, and disembodied voices and footsteps that emanate from vacant spaces. Many have told of encounters with the full-bodied apparitions of both inmates and even guards in old-timey garb, while others of the unnerving feelings of being watched, followed, or even of being touched by someone or something unseen, often accompanied by a sudden and overwhelming sensation of pure discomfort that has even resulted in some having to leave prison grounds. Eerily, many of these phenomena have been experienced by guides accompanied by entire tour groups, who have also later described shadowy figures and dark entities that stalk their parties, whispers and laughter heard from darkened areas, and a sinister feeling when nearing both the solitary confinement cell and the gallows, where several have received mysterious scratches or bruises without explanation. Taking its dark but intriguing history into account and coupling it with such an impressive range of associated local legends and purports of encounters with the paranormal, the old Idaho State Penitentiary felt like a perfect pick as this list's most haunted place in Idaho. Thanks for joining us for our picks for some of the most haunted places in Idaho. If you enjoyed our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll catch you next time.